Welcome back for more seafood, ladies and gents. Hope you're doing well. My name is Louis Aki, man, your man here. So today, in this episode, we are going for the true ending. So in the finale episode, in the last episode, that is a finale episode, but that is the finale of the revenge tour, where we're going across the city, killing different bosses, and killing Yang at the end to fulfill our... You know, uh, what what we wanted all along, you know, revenge for our father. But that is actually not the true ending, that is the bad ending. And, uh, well, the credit didn't roll, so you need to go back into the game and actually spare the bosses. So in order to spare the bosses, you have to play all five stages again. But this time, instead of killing them, you spare them. So how to do that on the second stage? You break the posture, break the structure, and instead of, um, instead of pressing the triangle circle button to execute them, you let them recover, and then you break the structure for the second time. There's a prompt saying, um, click left to spare them, and they give you a different cutscene and, uh, a, and a sign on the talisman. What does that mean? Well, you're going to have to watch the video to find out. So this is the true ending run, post commentary on all of this because I want to focus in beating the boss and uh, owning them, let's just say. Or maybe they own me, I don't know, but I'm definitely fighting much better, definitely having a lot of fun in this game. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's crack on with the first boss, the botanist. So the first boss in Sifu, of course, is the Botanist. So the Botanist is incredibly not that strong. He can be quite annoying in the second stage with his machete, but as long as you can dodge his attack and block parry some of his attack, his meter will go by quite will go by quite quickly. So during my first episode of this playthrough, my first playthrough, I actually got him quite easily. I found him quite mild. You know, it, it's basically making sure that you can do the first stage and not really giving you that much challenge and learn all the core mechanic of the game. So he is not. I'm not saying he's not challenging, obviously, um, but he he is definitely a very mild one. Um, for this boss out of 10, I'll give him probably a 4 out of 10. His first stage is really not that difficult. Uh, he, you need to look out for the, the second stage, which we are going into now. But the thing is to look out for is, in the first stage, is also like, it's quite cramped. So make sure you don't get kicked into the, um, the, the, the flower beds, otherwise you do extra damage. So second stage incredibly important because you need to break that structure as quickly as possible without taking out too much health because when you take out the entire health bar you're gonna kill you're gonna automatically get into the cutscene to kill the boss so you want that structure meter to go up instead of the health bar going down so that's why I was um, being a lot more cautious in this fight, trying to block and parry more attack and, uh, and try to get that edge on him. So in this one, I didn't do it fra flawlessly, obviously, because I was being very cautious of, of his attack. All those attacks that he just done, normally I will try to, try to dodge, but because I know I need to get his meter up, I need to parry it as much as possible. Bear in mind that I've done this run six times. This is actually my seventh go. The reason why I, I spend so much time is there. there there's so many times I clicked the, the button accidentally to kill to kill him. The other time I I hesitated a little bit too much and I got killed too many times. So I thought, nah, I don't want that. And uh, this is the best recording I have for this fight to get me used to the mechanic of sparing the the boss basically is a uh, is a bit frustrating 100% very frustrating uh, but subsequently I got better I, I, I know how to press a prompt and uh, got got myself out of the mindset and the routine of just pressing triangle and circle whenever that bar hit the red um, 
So yeah, a, a, a very fun fight regardless, because the new people like me, when I first play it, I was really concerned with his machete. And uh, you don't need to be you, you don't need to be concerned with that machete. You can dodge it, you can parry it, um, you can do all sorts of things to it. Um, so one of the run that I did, I actually managed to get his health bar down very quickly because I keep using this strong sweep attack. And uh, without breaking his structure at all, already killed him. So that's why I wasn't using my focus at all in this fight. Apart from uh, Kabul, which doesn't do any damage, but it, it kind of tends to stop the momentum a little bit. So I broke his uh, structure first time. You can see that I'm using Kabul again. I just basically stop that momentum and reset the fight a little bit. Um, it's a bit of a, a, a troll uh, focus move, but it, it has its uses, I guess, from time to time. Maybe I'm not using it properly. Um, but yeah, I've got his um, structure down. You can see how quickly his health goes down, so that's why I stopped hitting him. I was a little bit concerned, so that I, I was eating a lot of attack and I died a couple of times. Um, definitely shouldn't have died that many times, but I, I was just really trying to get that good ending, that true ending. So I'm just sucking it, sucking it out, you know. Um, I was parrying, 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 dodging some of them um, to get my structure meter down. His lunging attack, his jumping lunging attack, you just need to run the other way. Um, and this time, I managed to press left just to spare him. And you can see that the cutscene is slightly different. Instead of doing completing the motion of slitting his throat, I stopped it. So at age 23, we got the job done. So as you can see, that's the sign of a talisman. So in the middle, that's the talisman. And we unlock a sign within that, signifying that we've done the right thing for the botanist. So if we move on, uh, we also got the um, incredible amount of XP as well. So all of these, you get a brand new trophy. You get the silver trophy to um, for every fight for every bosses that you spare. So I'm very close on my trophy hunting, ladies and gents. So in this fight against the fighter, like I said, like I shown before, this is probably the hardest fight for newcomer. For newcomer of the game that is not so well versed on the dodging yet, so the pressing the L1 and up and down, up and down. Uh, for high low dodge if you're not well versed on that yet this fight will make you literally be the master of it and also the the problem with the club is that it's a massive is a massive difficulty spike as i said the first stage in the in the squads just to get you easy, ease you into the mechanics of Sifu, get you enjoying the game, getting, get you to feel like you're a massive badass, and then we move on to the second stage, the club is, is so hard. Like, the first time I play it, you guys saw it in episode 2, I was struggling with this boss, I was barely holding on, um, finishing the, the, the other goons in the club. But that's what it is, you know, that's, that's the beauty of it, is that you, you get to do your run multiple times to make sure that you're comfortable with it, you, you, you're getting better and better and better at the stage, you're dying less, that's more important, and, um, and you get to the boss and you master the boss combat move, the combo, how to dodge it, and how to attack him, use a little bit of focus, and that's the game, and once you get it, once you click, that's the beautiful thing of Sifu. It's similar to Dark Souls, similar to any roguelike, when you're having a very smooth run, when you're having a, a, a hard time in a boss, but then you're now bossing him. That's the beauty of these games, you know. It's a challenge, well accepted, as in challenge, complete kind of feeling, you know. So, second stage, um, rambling on about it. Second stage of the fighter, um, his attack, his combo is actually very easy to predict. So you just need to 
time your L1 and down, so then you dodge um, a high attack. I'm not very good at dodging the low attack, and you can see that I, I actually um, got caught many times in this fight by the low attack of just the, the fighter. So, um, Shane is a very good boss. Um, the last one I gave here gave the botanist a 4 out of 10. So for this one I'll give him a 8 out of 10 because of how hard he is. And the core mechanic of dodging, it really gets you really gets you um, uh, thinking about how to dodge and how to read. Slow down the game. Basically, try and slow down the game, um, slow down the moveset the combo of the boss and really learn it and really be patient you know this game is not an action adventure game where you can just bash your way out it's not a devil may cry game so this is a a, a, a slow patient methodical game in a way very similar to Sakiro and also in part Dark Souls game where you need to be patient don't get greedy but this has a very big core mechanic of Sakiro, you know, um, being able to just just be calm, basically. So you can see that he keep getting me with that under sweep attack, and um, and I just keep timing him really badly. So that's one thing about Sh Shane that you know, even though you, you you master his combo, there are still something that you need to you need to master, which is his under sweep attack. But not doing too bad here. Um, his health is actually quite high, so um, I know that okay. Even if I get his structure down once, he will still have enough health for this for the second time. And I'm not using my focus attack because I know my focus attack can tick his health down um, quite uh, a, quite a lot more. Let's just say. Are you kidding me? So this is where it's so hard when that when that sound effect. Where you can trigger the execution, when you trigger the, um, uh, it just makes it really hard. So yeah, again, like this is where he keep doing the um, the, the sweeping attack. Like he done it three times. I'm just like, okay, is he gonna do his uh, uh, high up combo? And he never did it. So. Getting getting my age to a very high level actually, and um, this is where I start seeing his health going really low. I'm just like, okay, I'm a little bit worried now, because um, he, I, I need him to block a little bit more so that I can get his structure meet up a little bit. So you can see that I'm I stop punching as much um, because I want I just want to. I decided that I need to start blocking eventually because his health was getting a little bit too low uh, for my liking. But I still need to um, dodge. This is where I'm just like, mm, okay, I don't, I don't want to do a focus point because um, his health is getting real low. I'm just like, okay, is, am I going to mess this up? So this is where like I was trying to block his attack and then um, he done the slam dunk attack to, to kill me um, I was just like okay he needs to do that shoulder bash attack and he did and this is where I had the opportunity to spare him but as you just saw his health was literally on one HP I'm just like okay one punch and then I'll just do the whole execution cutscene which is not what I wanted. So um, Shane, really good, really good fight. One more sign on the talisman. Um, really, really fun fight indeed. So next fight in the museum is the artist uh, Kuro Kuroki. So for Kuroki, the first stage is all about being patient. You can see that I wasn't being patient at first. And uh, I, I get I get punished basically. I get punished a lot. I'm trying to go in with the attack. Try to try to learn the move set. Um, it's a lot of the time it's low, high, low, high. But she has so many move set that um, and, and can be done very quickly. You kind of just get 
or disorientated, really. Um, but that is the best. That is actually the best combo when she slam her her staff. You can dodge it, and then you can get a couple hits in, definitely. So for her spinning attack, make sure you don't get on the rock, and um, uh, use the rock to keep her distance, and she will stop that combo straight away. So do a little bit of running, and then um, kind of look through uh, where the next rocks are, um, to just run towards that, basically, for her spinning attack. So in here, you can see that I, I, I let her finish her whole combo, and then I go in with the with the slap. So spinning attack, spinning attack. What I should have done in here is to move my camera. Don't look at her. Just just run. Just run. And that's the that's the best way to do this. So at the start you can see that I was um I was I was rushing. I go in, I was trying to punch, trying to dodge as best as I can. Um, it's really good at dodging. I tend to just panic dodge. That's that's what I'm good at. I panic dodge. Uh, nothing is inten nothing is intentional in terms of when I was dodging, right? I just spam the dodge button and then see. Hopefully, bloody hell, I, I dodge and I spam the L1 button to hopefully I parry some. But because she's using a weapon, parrying is a little bit harder. So I let her finish her combo and I go in with a bitch slap and then combo a little bit. Spinning attack. I didn't look. I didn't look where I was going, so I got hit. So uh, just make sure that when you're running away from a spinning attack, just just change the camera. She's not that quick. She's quick on that attack, but not that quick in terms of um, uh, 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 getting them. So that. That's that's it. Just moving the camera, and uh, you you avoid that attack 100%. You can go in and try to dodge it, but the timing needs to be precise. You can't really spam dodge it, and uh, as you haven't noticed, I speed, sped forward the time a little bit because this is a long fight, um, a long, a long first round to make sure that she does all her attack. So this is the best combo. You go in, she do the slam attack, you dodge, and then you just keep punching her. So the second phase. So this is to try to dodge as, as much as possible. Um, you want to get her health down a little bit as well, so then the uh, her structure will so her structure will stay, doesn't recover as much. So when that when she was doing her devastating attack, you just need to prepare for it, and when when it flashes, then you just need to dodge. You, sh you just need to time it well as much as possible. Uh, I know you can you can also parry as well when it flash, but it, it's not as um, pronounced. Let's just say I'm not I'm not as good as parrying, um, so it's just unfortunate that I couldn't get her in that throw to stop her devastating charge attack. Um, so yeah, I think in terms of Kuroki, I give her a, a eight out of ten because it is all about the patient. Um, you can 100% instead of doing it a cheesy way where you, you, you it's not a cheesy way the very patient way of um, on the first phase to let her do her combo and then go in for a couple of moves do her combo go in for a couple of moves you can actually be very good and and dodge all her attack up down up down dodge her attack and then punch in um, so again it, it, it's all about Carrying some of her move as well and getting you to dodge in a different way instead of just 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 pressing down all the time. You need to sometimes read her attack and press up. Um, but her second phase is more traditional, apart from the uh, obviously throwing the kuni. Um, that high kick is something that I'm really bad at dodging. I think the museum level is my favorite level as well. Um, it has a I don't know, yeah, it's just, it's just my favorite level. I think the club has sometimes too many gang, and I, I and sometimes I thought that's that's a little bit unfair. But I thought the museum have a good balance of challenge and uh, and crowd control basically. So you can also sidestep instead of dodging. You can also sidestep to avoid that attack. But again, 
the timing is is key. The timing is that when it flashes, she's coming for you. A weapon catch is definitely the um, the the skills that you need for that second stage, because the amount of health that you can take out uh, is is incredible. So this is where I started parrying more. You can see that I parry all her attack. I was gonna go in for a couple of punch, um, but unfortunately, when you are uh, uh, hopping into a direction, even if you press L1, it, it you need to you need to let the animation to finish first before you you can do the weapon catch. So I know for Kuroki in the past when I defeated her, um, her health bar isn't really that high, so that's why I'm not using my focus at all. Because as you can see, every single attack I do is a very, it's like 3 or 4% of her health. It's a big chunk, it's a big chunk of her health gone, so I don't want to beat her up too much. And this is where I know that, okay, I need to, uh, I need to just be a little bit patient and parry all her attack as you guys saw. Just like boom, 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 parry all her attack. But uh, I was getting very sloppy. I was getting very sloppy and um, just dying all the time. But luckily, the uh, the age. If you go to the next age, um, you kind of go back to the to your last best. If you know what I mean. So I got that Kuni. You just throw it. There you go. So that that's when I block the attack and it actually increases her structure meter very very uh very much so i'm just blocking now because i know that okay um her health is just not that great uh, her structure meter is going up but um i'm just hoping that not to kill her basically after the fight with uh with shane where his health go down very very low i'm just a little bit cautious so i was taking I was taking precaution so now that I broke her structure once, I was using a little bit of focus. You can see that I start using the strong sweep attack. I blocked that one. I got the Kroony, threw it at her. It was picture perfect. I got her down. And literally, she only... A couple punches away. There you go. A Kroony away, and then I can spare her. Very good fight. I really love this boss. Yeah, definitely an 8 out of 10 in uh, overall score rating for this boss. Uh, I like her a lot. I, I like this, um, uh, the spare, let's just say the spare cutscene as well compared to the kill one. It, 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 it looks majority of the time, it looks like, oh, it's, it's going to be the same cutscene, but it's not. And I know the fo I love the focus on the faces of the boss. And then they always look back to our character and the character just like showing sympathy, showing like, okay, this is my journey. I forgive you of what you've done, but like reflect on it. Like you, you've done a bad thing. You haven't done an a, a amazing thing. So the CEO. So the CEO, uh, her attack is always the same. Um, I beat her in my first playthrough on my first ever go, so she's actually not that difficult as long as you get right up to her. Um, her, her structure do go up very quickly and her health do go down very quickly as well. And uh, if you brute force it, if you don't care about dying too much, you brute force it, you can get her really easily without actually dying too many times. Uh, her attack is really hard. Her attack, the, the bell, whatever you call it, 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 it hits extremely hard, so you just need to make sure that you, you either block it or dodge it really well. So, same as always, I'm not very good at dodging that low attack. Um, you, you can 100%, you can 100% foreshadow what you're going to do, um, but I was just not very good. I, I'm, I'm not that patient, um, but my next my, my my only trophy to get now is the complete the game 20 25 age 25 or lower so that's my only trophy left to do so i know i need to be a kung fu master in order to get that gold trophy and then of course the platinum trophy so 
absolutely love this game and I've done it I played it so much that I only got one more trophy to get um, so yeah for Jing Fei the CEO not that difficult and you can see that you know I already got her to the second phase so second phase I need to be a little bit more careful uh, block a little bit because like I said her health go down quite quickly especially when I'm using the staff as well it, it, it doesn't help with the map matter so that's why when you see that I, I beat her a couple of times with the staff and then I threw it back at her I'm just like okay I can't keep doing that because her health will go down before anything else before her structure goes all the way up twice um, so I'm using a little bit of the eye, eye poke as well the snake eye because the, the snake eye attack do uh, less damage than the uh, strong sweep attack but it also kind of uh, have a very good uh, increase on the structure and for me to reset the fight to get back into the rhythm. So Jane Faye is not very hard. I'll, I'll, I'll actually give her a 2 out of 10. Uh, her attack to... Uh, 2 out of 10 seems a bit harsh. Maybe a 4 out of 10. Similar to um, the, the botanist, the muted... Um, fa fara? Fa fa? Fa fa fa? whatever his name is um, I think Jin Fei the CEO is not that difficult it just if you have the patience to learn her move she's not that she's not that difficult especially when you just can kill her instead of trying to spare her because um, I, I was definitely holding my punches uh, in a lot of the time because I, I want I want her structure meter to go up um, quicker than the health going down like I said many times so you can see that I'm dodging a little bit, dodging a little bit, try to try to fight her. Um, but yeah, I'm just wasn't as patient as I wanted to be. But I see that I was making some good progress on her structure, so I started throwing a little bit more punches, dodging a little bit more. Um, but unfortunately, a couple of times like that one, I miss dodge it, and then it kills me. Age 45, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, other than that, I, I try not to use my uh, focus that much, but I just know that I was doing so bad. I was doing very bad. She got me on the high rope. I just need to reset the fight. And in order to do that, you, you use the, uh, the focus. So this is where I knock her down and I'm just like, okay, I got her health down a little bit too low now. So or I, I, need, to, I need to parry her attack. And I'm just, I wasn't doing a great job at all parrying her attack and I just, I just got beat. I just got beat. Age 50. I got her down so low but I was trying to get her to do attacks that I can actually parry. Because her health is so low, I'm just getting the, getting the vibe that I, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it. But, in a very ultimate fashion, I managed to get her just, just enough. Similar, similar to Shane, got her down to 1 HP and I still managed to get that spare option. Love it. I love all these cutscenes and as you can see, the second last talisman, the second last signs unlocked. So, uh, done. One thing that I haven't shown in this, uh, in this game is that when you go back to the courtyard in your home, um, the tree will blossom, the tree keep growing because you've been sparing all these uh, bosses. And just outside the last final boss, this is really cool. Like you see all those signs popping up. So all the signs, are, this is the fighter, the fighter sign. And then this is the botanist, you can see all the herbs and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. The table, the club. Um, and, then, and then this is the museum, the artist. Kuroki, you know, the fountain, the water, this is really cool, really cool. And then the CEO, the, the, the mountain, the dungeon, all those materials are there. It's really cool. How they've done that is really cool. But this is the last fight, ladies and gents. Yang. So, um, I got this fight. You know, I grabs the fight that you just need to parry. You can't use any focus, so don't even bother trying. So I started really well with my parry and my staff. Um, the staff actually increased the structure meter a little bit more. 
my my plan is not to get his health down. Like he he have an insane health bar. So all you can do is just do parry his parry his attack. And I've I've been doing pretty well apart from that one. I got knocked down to my ass, but I've been doing very well just blocking all his attack. Um, I wasn't really looking at my own structure meter too much. Maybe maybe um, the next time to improve the fight is to kind of look at my structure meter, not just go ham. Because I, I was just going ham all the time. I'm just like, okay, just 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 be chill, you know. Oh, so after um, fighting the CEO, you, you saw that I finished with age 50, but then I spent the last couple of hours replaying the museum stage and the CEO stage as well to get my age a lot lower. Um, the good thing is that you only need to spare the boss once. You can go back on the other stages and kill them again, and it, it will still carry on the, the progression. So that's what I did. That's what I learned and that's what I did. So that's why my age is um, a lot lower when I fight Yang and not age 50. Because definitely, like, I needed every single age limit as possible. So as you just saw, like, I still got my staff. It broke to pieces. It broke half, half, half the piece. But I still managed to get this fight done. Um, so massive positive. I got his first phase done really well and I only died once. So I'm, I was really happy with the progress. But this second stage is where I start having a little bit of a problem. I um, I just didn't have my rhythm. I didn't have my rhythm in this second fight. You sound like a fright one to me. The only thing he says for this whole entire playthrough. The whole entire game. So I keep getting caught on um, on this grab attack of his. Uh, I wasn't dodging as much. Um, I think on the second stage you need to do a combination of dodges and parrying. You can't just try to parry. Some of his attack is just so hard to parry that um, your timing needs to be great. So his speed attack definitely is something that you can just keep pressing L1 to, to parry. It's a really fun fight. Um, so for Yang. I'll give him a 9 out of 10, it's definitely one of the best bosses in, in, in Sifu and very difficult, you can't rely on focus points as well. So all the other bosses, if you find it difficult, you can use the focus focus meter, focus ability to reset the fight or do extra damage or to get the structure meter up, you know, you can always have focus meter on your side. But after the first 4 boss fight, you're so reliant on focus. When I first start fighting Yang and you can't use the focus meter, I'm just like, holy shit. But it's all about just fighting fist to fist. No focus meter, no none of that. So you can see that um, I started dodging a little bit more, um, but I'm still not doing well at all. I think I really let myself down on the... On the the beginning of the second phase, I just wasn't, I just wasn't good. So what I tried to do, I was, I was trying to dodge more in order to get my structure meter um, uh, reduced. Because every successful dodge, my structure meter regain uh, uh, a good chunk of it. So instead of trying to back out, and let my structure meter, I can definitely run around the arena, let my structure meter go down and then uh, and then re-engage. But because his health is also quite high, it means that his structure meter is also s slowly recovering. And that's not what I wanted to happen. So I decided to just go aggressive. But it didn't work out, like honestly. I could have done a lot better. You just saw that I just keep dying and dying and dying. And that definitely is something that I can improve on. It just be just be patient. Just be patient. Even if his structure meter goes down slightly, so what? Your structure meter on high health will go down a lot quicker than his. So just be patient, re-engage. You can see that I was rushing. I'm rushing. I keep hop stepping to him. Trying to like get him, trying to get him. 
but he keep breaking my, my, my structure meter and he keep getting my health lower and lower and lower. So yeah, this is this is a long fight. You can see that I start I start learning a little bit, try to get my structure lower, um, and there you go. Because I let my structure meter lower, I was able to parry a lot more of his attack. Um, so when my structure meter was so low, I, I should have just ran away a little bit, let it recover a little bit, and then keep parrying. So my age is getting my, my age is getting higher and higher and higher, ladies and gents. Like my, my next death will have a five, six death count. So I'm not doing well in terms of being patient, and this is causing me. Um, uh, this is causing me a bit, definitely. There you go. I managed to stun him, so I was unleashing attacks, some strong, some weak attack, some quick attack. There you go, that was a good dodge. So the amount of dodge that I did there um, got my structure meter down very, very, very much. Like, literally, a big chunk of it was gone. But unfortunately, I couldn't get my rhythm. And uh, I died again. And this this is a close fight. And uh, I, I did this literally 12 o'clock in the morning. And uh, early morning, and uh, I, I was just like, I want to get this ending. I, I want to play. I was going to play it live, but I, I don't tend to do better. I don't tend to do well live. Um, so I decided just look. I want. I really like this game, and I just want to finish it. So that's why I did this uh, recording on my own offline. So yeah. Got his struct, got his structure meter down once, and now I know that I need to get his uh, structure meter down twice to spare him. And um, age sixty-one, ladies and gents, not great. Getting to that limit very close. Getting to the limit very close. The next death will be death count eight, by the way. So he, he keep kind of. Um, uh, uh, moving me as well and that kind of disorientated me a little bit sometimes um, and this is where I, I, I again I, for some reason I just I just continue I continue 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 to be rushing uh, for, for no reason at all so at age 69 very close to the end so I managed to get his bar up punch him a couple more times so I spared him I've done it ladies and gents I've done it so at age 69, at age 69. Please, stay with me. <coughs> at age 69, clinging on to the very last pendant. <laughs> literally have one more life left. And we are getting to the third phase of this fight. So, the third phase of this fight is a bit of a uh, trivia fight. You don't die every time. Every time you break, he break your postage, your your structure, I should say. Uh, you you keep coming back. There's no health, as you can see. There's no health. There's no life. So, it, and his structure meter goes down very a lot a lot quicker. Um, so you just need to basically, if this is the final fist battle, uh, you just need to keep throwing your punches, dodging and parrying at the right time to get his structure meter up as high as possible. Now I keep failing, um, I keep getting into a really bad rhythm. I got as close as this, but then I, he started jumping out. You need to put in the pressure, and I feel like my combo wasn't as good. I'll just keep pressing square, square, square. No. Do some mixture of a square, triangle, triangle, square. Um, eventually, I get it, but yeah, it just because otherwise your quick attack, he can block it very quickly, and his structure goes goes down. As you can see, that his structure already gone down to back to yellow. I got it on orange. Um, so yeah, just a lot of fight. I got him into a corner, but that doesn't seems to seems to work. Um, mostly because of my combo. My combo just wasn't good enough. So. 
fast forwarding four minutes of gameplay. It took me uh, six minutes on this stage alone. So I finally got him, and this is the ending. This is the ending, the true ending that we've been looking for, ladies and gents. This is Wuda. So this is Wuda. <laughs> There you go, that's the complete talisman. We have spared every one of the bosses. Um, and to be honest, after after doing their, their revenge tour, their own kind of uh, betrayal to the Guardian, um, they went their separate way and start doing their own thing, you know, and um, try to put the past behind them and try to make the world better. So this is um, this is the ending. This is the last part. We are at the top of a mountain, and uh, we are the master of Wuda. We we understood the meaning of Wuda, and um, and this is it, ladies and gents. Uh, I must say this has been a a, a a great pleasure to play this game. Um, this game was released all the way back in February and. Back then, I was uh, very tempted to get it, but um, looking at the review as well, I was I was so tempted to get it. But Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring was coming in the same month, so um, yeah. So that's the ending, and uh, I want to close out the the, the video with um, a bit of my view, a bit of my review on this game, as you can say. So. Sifu is one of my favorite games of this year, definitely. Between Horizon Forbidden West and Sifu, um, to claim the second place, I think Sifu definitely have the edge. I, I I might need to replay Horizon to 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 get that vibe again because I, I did play Horizon Forbidden West way back in February and March. Um, but definitely I love this game, man. The amount of time I probably spent twenty hours in this game already, um, and you you. Sh just trying to perfect the run, right? Uh, a lot of people will be happy with going through to the second, to, to the next stage with age 50. Um, but for me, I think it's important to try to perfect the run, try to beat all the sub bosses, trying to go through the, the arena as much as possible, uh, as, as good as possible, and be a badass as much as possible as well. And um, yeah, I think at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I, I, I absolutely love this game um i don't want to mumble on a little bit too much i think the positive is that the game is really difficult but it's not forgiving and um, there's a, a lot more difficulty that you can do there's a hardcore difficulty and there is a recently announced uh summer update where you can uh modify the game however you want so you can have like a slow-mo mode and stuff like that um, so they're still updating the game, uh, but it's just a bit of a shame that there is no added content in a way. Like there's no new stages. Um, I would love to see the the DLC. I love to see the DLC. Um, love to see what they can bring more. So five stages is really good. They have uh, different variety on the five stages different enemy type, different aesthetic as well. They all really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want more, I want more content, not the game modifier and stuff like that. That doesn't really entice me as much. Um, Cause I, I don't know, I, I just want to experience more Sifu, uh, more enemy type, more weapons maybe. Um, maybe one of them will start having guns. I don't know, that's just, just, just a bit, you know of me thinking out loud so definitely wanted more sifu and i hope the developer slow clap will do more um on, on this type of game going forward whether or not it's new game or new content for sifu uh, i'll be watching them very closely from now on so yeah so the positive there's many you know it's really fun to play and um, great soundtrack great aesthetic i really enjoy it 
um, it, it, the, the, the bad, let's just say the bad, because that, that tend to be easier to identify, right? Um, sometimes the button prompt, <laughs> and the input lag is there. I don't know if that's just the PS5 or um, it, it, it ruins some of my runs sometimes, and I'm just like, ah. You know, sometimes I'm just like, well, okay, I, I click, I, uh, I click a uh, block or I click, um, especially the focus, because the focus meets, uh, the focus when you go to that mode is it, it try to slow down everything. Um, but you need to let the, the, the whole mode goes through first and then you can press whatever you want to do, like strong sweep attack. And that delay cost me a lot of life. And uh, that's one thing that I really hated. I think in general, those those are the small nitpick, uh, and I don't want to rumble on too much because I haven't really written anything on my review. That's just my 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 thought on playing seafood for the last two weeks um, continuously, basically. Um, overall, fantastic game. Really happy with it. I love the uh, the permanent skill unlock and all that all, all that malarkey, um, and. Uh, and yeah, it's a game that I'll come back every now and again just to fight around and, and try to perfect the run. And like I said, I still got one more trophy to unlock until I get platinum. And that is um, to beat the whole game at age 25. So uh, uh, yeah, I think I think you just need to master not only the, the bosses, of course. You, you can't die that many times against um, to the bosses, but also to master um, fighting these goons. Even if you unlock the shortcut, there are um, something that you you still going to um, it is something that you still going to be aware of for for sure. With that being said, there is also a very short end credit cutscene to show here. Um, but before showing you that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and love the Sifu series like I did playing the game. Absolutely love it, fantastic game. Click the like button or put a smile on my face and also show some love to the indie developer Slow Clap and uh, click the subscribe button to see me play any other game as well. So uh, stay safe out there, keep calm and video game. Peace.